Hello, so this is a live sound session and in this session we're going to explore how we figure out whether a loudspeaker cabinet is going to be loud enough for our requirements on a show. So if we look at the AdLib speaker specification chart you will see that there is um, a row that's titled sensitivity. Sensitivity is basically how efficient a cabinet is in turning um, electrical power in watts into sound intensity um, that we will measure in decibels. How good is it at turning electrical power into sound power? So the particular example that I've got in front of me, um, the sensitivity is rated at 98 decibels. What that means is that when you put one watt of electrical power as a test tone, like pink noise, through the cabinet, and you measure it at one meter away with a, a calibration microphone, you're going to measure 98 decibels. Um, but this is a 400 watt cabinet. So what we want to know is, well, okay, it gives us 98 dB with one watt. How loud will it get with 400 watts? And the way that we're going to work that out is we, we're going to put those two values, watts 1 and watts 2, as a measurement. We're comparing one against the other. Um, and we're going to then convert that measurement into a logarithm. And logarithms are a way of describing very big numbers uh, in, in much uh, easier packages. And then we're going to multiply that by 10. So the equation then will look like this. 10 multiplied by the log of 400 watts compared to 1 watt. And that's going to convert the difference in power into a decibel reading, which can tell us how loud this cabinet will get at 1 meter when we go to full power. Now let's have a look at a couple of the calculators because different calculators want to do this in different ways. Um, this is a Mac calculator and this particular one wants us to do the equation in what we would call bid mass. In other words, uh, I think it's brackets, indices, then it's uh, division, multiplication, addition and, and subtraction. Are you doing things in a particular order? So we want to do the job in brackets first. 400 divided by 1. That's really easy because 400 divided by 1 is 400. But let's just do it anyway. So 400 divide 1 equals... Oh, hang on, let me try that again. 400 divide 1 equals 400. So I've done that bit, that bit there. 400 divided by 1 is 400. Next, I'm going to press the log 10 button, and it gives me this number, 2.6, blah, 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 blah. We can round that down later on. So I've turned that measurement into a log. Finally, I need to multiply it by 10. So back to the calculator, times 10 equals 26, and we're going to round it down. So what we're saying then is that at 400 watts, we will get an additional 26 dB, 26 decibels, sound pressure. So we add that to the original figure we got at 1 watt, 98 decibels plus 26, equals 124 dB, but that's only at one meter. Now then, I'm going to go to this other calculator, uh, and this is just the online Google calculator, because this design of calculator wants us to run the equation from left to right. Instead of bid mass, instead of doing the job in brackets, it wants us to start uh, on the left. So let me do this. So I'll, I shall type in 10 multiply and then I'll press log and you can see it's put brackets up and then I put my 400 divided by 1 400 divide 1 and then I press right bracket and click equals and I get the same figure 26.02 blah 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 so you get to the same point what you need to do is which Ever way your calculator wants to do the work, you just need to get to know your calculator. Either way is fine, uh, it's just a matter of figuring out which one works for you. 
Okay, let's do one more. Now, what we're saying then is that this cabinet with a sensitivity of 98 dB um, and a ha power handling of 400 watts, we've worked out that it will give us 124 dB at one meter. Wow, that is dangerously loud. Um, it's quite clear that you should never be one meter away from a cabinet that loud at full power because you could sustain some significant hearing damage very rapidly. That's the threshold of pain, pretty much. But the audience is not going to be one meter away. So what we now are, are, want to ask ourselves is, well, how do I work out how that is going to get quieter over distance? And in that situation, we can use a similar equation. And in this situation, we are going to compare distance in meters. So we know that we can get 124 dB at one meter, full power. Let's figure out how quiet it's going to be, well not quiet, but how much quieter it's going to be at five meters. And we can simply put those two distances into a similar equation. Now this one, it's a 20 log equation. And the reason is because we're now dealing in something that's already a value of pressure, sound pressure. Um, and when we're dealing with sound pressure, um, we refer to the 20 log equation. When we were dealing in comparisons of sound power or electrical power, we dealt with a 10 log equation. In the background, the maths is because power is the square of pressure. Um, we don't really need to know that. Um, you just need to show that you can, you can crunch this type of equation. So let's run this through on each calculator. So I'm going to press cancel on both of these calculators. Let's start with the Google calculator. So 20 times the logarithm of 1 divided by 5. So here we go. 20 multiply and then it's uh, log and it's giving me my left bracket. So then I type in 1 divide 5, right bracket to close it, click equals, and it gives us that figure, minus 13.97. We're going to round it to minus 14. And you can see there that agrees with the Word document that I've got open on the left. Now let's try it on this calculator. <coughs> Excuse me. On this calculator, we're going to do it bid mass. So the equation we're going to do the job in brackets first. So 1 divide 5 equals 0 0.2. And then we're going to turn that into a log. So I click log 10, and it gives me 0 minus 0 0.69. And then I'm going to multiply by 20. And that equals minus 13.97 and you can see that that figure agrees with the other calculator we're going to round it to minus 14 db so what we are saying then is that the cabinet at full power could give us 124 db at one meter however we have worked out that five meters away the inverse square law tells us that it could be up to 14 db quieter which means that in the audience you might be able to achieve a maximum of 110 decibels. Um, that's probably okay because a lot of um, specifications for um, concert systems require you to be able to deliver 110 decibels to all parts of the audience. That suggests that this particular cabinet will work for our requirements. Hopefully that is making some sense. What I'm looking for you to do to get a, a decent grade in your event plan is to show me a little bit of this working out. Actually put the uh, equations into your, or your planning document. Um, you're showing me your understanding of how to predict whether a cabinet is loud enough or not. And therefore you can justify your choice of loudspeaker cabinet. Thank you.